welcome everyone uh, today again we are fortunate to have spiritual discourses and uh, actually it should be a routine life routine work in our life that every day we should have satsang we should have spiritual discourses because unless and until we get the habit of listening to spiritual discourses our spiritual path will not be easy our spiritual evolution will not be proper so to have a proper spiritual progress we have to make the habit of listening to spiritual discourses and slowly and slowly we'll be able to understand the functioning of our inner things of course science has done a physical science has done a big development and they have understood about most of the organs of the body how they are working about the dna about the functions of the various organs everything they have come to understood but yet there are three things which physical science has not been able to understand properly the total function of the brain the left brain and the right brain and as well as the corpus callosum uh, which combines the left and the right hemisphere of the brain of the cortex and about the mind the conscious mind and the subconscious mind and also about the spirit the soul the consciousness dwelling within us due to which we are alive these three subjects are not clear to the so called physical science and when we are regular with the spiritual discourses the spiritual science slowly and slowly will develop not in a day you know uh, some people are in very hurry you know they want everything in a day but spirituality is not like that slowly and slowly gradually when we keep on listening to spiritual discourses slowly we will be able to understand the proper function of these three things and these are the most vital thing in our life the managing people the managing group of our life of this uh, human body the rest are the working group the main managing group is the brain the mind and the consciousness the upanishads say that human body is a vehicle brain is the driver mind is the steering and the consciousness the soul is the passenger passenger has to go somewhere he is a target he is a destination who will take him the driver will take him through the vehicle and to drive the vehicle properly to take the vehicle to its destination the driver must know the way must be expert in driving must have knowledge of the problems that will come on the way and the steering should be in proper condition the steering should be in control of the driver if the steering is not in control of the driver however expert the driver may be he will not be able to take the passenger to its destination so and if the steering is erratic what will happen there are chances of getting accidents and instead of reaching to the proper place to its destination the passenger may be lost so those two things are very vital for the passenger the driver and the steering so this this human body is the vehicle driver is our brain and the steering is the mind the mind should be in control of the brain now this the passenger and the driver cannot talk in themselves 
there is a problem because the passenger language of the passenger is different and the language of the driver is different the brain and the consciousness cannot talk in each, to each other because the passenger is just a witness he is just seeing that he is being driven to a destination if the driver is taking to a wrong destination he is unhappy if the driver is taking the right direction he is happy that much he can manifest himself the happiness and unhappiness so if we are going in a pro proper way taking the soul towards its destination the destination of salvation the abode from where nobody returns the soul doesn't return then the soul is happy and if i taking to a wrong direction the soul is full of sorrow so friends the main thing comes then two things the driver is to be trained and the steering is to be in control and in this program we are talking about these two things in one day it can be done and moreover actually the spiritual discourse is for both for the audience also and for the speaker also because on that day what corrections we need he knows the almighty knows so that subject he may bring up uh, one of our mahatma ji used to say that before starting the program i always think that i'll speak this point i'll speak on this subject but when i start something else comes up the die will prevails and actually you know if you want to enjoy life you have to give up my will and you have to follow thy will of course it's easy to say very difficult to implement but not impossible and that when this uh, habit comes in us to follow thy will to work according to thy will to become an instrument of thy will that's what saint asi says he says oh god let me be an instrument of thy will let me work according to your plan the cosmic plan and you know actually it is a fact someone may not believe me may not believe this saying of the saints that actually for every person there is a cosmic plan and for every day there is a cosmic plan but the tragedy is this the unfortunate thing is that we don't follow that plan we follow the plan of the logical brain the conscious mind whereas we should have followed the plan of the intuitive brain the subconscious mind when the mind is at ease with the logical brain it becomes the conscious mind and when the same mind is at ease with the intuitive right brain it becomes a subconscious mind and some psychologists say there is a vast power in the subconscious mind really it is true because uh, when we analyze when we read the virtues of the left brain and the right brain there is a vast difference science says that about the left brain the left hemisphere it says it's a closed one with limited capacity and about the right it says it's an open one with unlimited capacity so when our mind is connected to the left part of the brain it becomes finite but when it is connected to the right part of the brain it it can develop infinite power infinite capacity can be there and that's why it says uh it's an open one with unlimited capacity about the right part what's the difference friends uh let's simply understand that suppose this mobile is there this mobile has a fixed capacity maybe 32 gb 64 gb and whatever photos we have put in this one 
whatever files information we have put in this mobile it can give us only that much of information not more than that so it's like the left part of the brain the conscious mind whatever we have studied whatever we have experienced whatever we have seen whatever experiences we have gone through whatever is stored in the left part of the brain that it can bring out even sometimes it can bring out that much also but it can that's the limit of the left part of the brain it cannot bring out anything which it doesn't know which it has never visualized never heard those things it cannot bring out but the same mobile if you want to you want this mobile to give us unlimited information then what will do what we do we what do we do to get unlimited information we connect it with the internet same mobile is there but what what happened it was connected to the internet and as soon as we connect it to the internet its capacity becomes unlimited when it is connected to the server which has got un- so much of information it can bring out anything from there through the search engine so it can give us unlimited information similar is the right brain the intuitive part through that the mind is connected to the cosmic server there is a cosmic server previously science didn't accept that but now even the scientists accept that there is a universal the global brain there is a universal mind this that they call cosmic intelligence many words they give it to it which is managing the whole universe you see what a super computer divine computer might have been everything is being managed perfectly sun you know if we study the nature there is perfection in the nature there is only one thing which is the, in which there is no perfection that is we human being our actions are imperfect sometimes we do this sometimes we do that but that nature that cosmic intelligence its management is perfect if sun doesn't rise in its system at what will happen completely when we minutely study the nature it's surprising what a perfect management is there and that perfect management system is called the universal mind the cosmic server or the global brain it says what is what is within is without actually whatever is outside in a macro way in a macro or form the same things are within us in a micro form so scientists have accepted that our brain is a micro form of the global brain what is within our brain the same things are in the global brain of course in on a macro level that's the only difference it's a surprising creation god have created the human being we don't understand we don't try to explore his possibilities that's our misfortune so that cosmic server the cosmic intelligence is always trying to help us always trying to guide us always trying to make us happy peaceful and successful in life so it's all the time sending us signals it's all the time sending us a plan that you do this and do in this way but that plan comes to the intuitive part of the brain unless our mind is connected to the intuitive part it doesn't get connected to that cosmic server and the tragedy is that 
the misfortune is that if we study our mind seriously most of the time it is connected with the left part of the brain which is a finite one with limited capacity we are not trying to connect the mind to the right part of the brain and that's why we don't enjoy life that's why we have got so many sufferings for which we we may blame anybody but actually we are to be blamed even we blame our luck that's also not necessary whatever is our luck bad luck or good luck whatever it may be friends if you connect the mind to the right part of the brain and make our mind the subconscious mind and when it gets connected to the super computer the so uh, not the super computer the cosmic computer what will happen whatever even if our previous deeds are wrong our luck is very very bad it will gives us a, a plan to overcome that problem and um, to change our destiny to change our future to change our fortune to change our luck it's all the time ready to help us but we are not taking the help who is to be blamed <laughs> god is not to be blamed nature is not to be blamed we are we have to blame ourselves we are not using utilizing the system given to us we are not using the functions of our brain see a child when a child is born his right part of the brain is active and the staring is also in a first class uh, working because at the time there is delta wave when a child is born up to 2 years there is delta from 2 to 5 there is theta 5 to 12 then is alpha all these three waves are peace waves frequency increasing slowly and you see how a child enjoys life have you ever studied that one day i went to a school you know uh, and there was half time you know half time happens around um, noon for lunch and everything uh, it was a uh, secondary school class 7 8 6 7 5 six students and they came out and the way they were laughing jumping enjoying life so even we may feel envy for that how enjoying they are enjoying their life and suppose there is a program of 1000 old people senior citizens when they come out will will we find will we find them enjoying like that no never same person because uh the what 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 is the difference this beta wave in them which are unstable wave and there is theta alpha wave in the child moreover his right brain is more active than the left brain and in the senior citizens uh, right is almost dormant the logical brain the brain with limited capacity the brain which cannot uh, uh, you know store uh, cannot uh, much problem it cannot face it has a limited capacity it has limited endurance power and so what happens when any problem comes we get depression we are we get stress anxiety and there are hundreds of medicines formulas people are trying to find out for stress management this is a simple formula for stress management change the speed of your mind take it from beta to alpha or theta stress is gone but for that you have to learn that meditation i use the word metaphysical meditation which we practiced in the mother's womb and that's why when we came out we had delta wave and our right part of the brain the intuitive brain was active 
this is the way to enjoy life and it can be done age is not a factor there the factor is how much we have our mind is connected with our intuitive brain if we study our mind seriously if we study analyze the mind most of the time it is connected with the left part of the brain and the senses most word also is not sufficient for it all the time all the time it is connected with the left part of the brain and our senses hardly it goes to the right part of the brain so the plants that are coming the cosmic plants the intuitions that are coming are all lost we don't get it but friends there is a way every father wants his son to enjoy life wants to become a successful person wants to be a famous person wants his child to become like him even better than him god is very compassionate and kind he is not a evil person of course he has to follow the rules if you made some rules that rule has to be followed because if the rule are not followed then the system will not work in every thing there are some rules which has to be followed even in a computer programming also there are some rules everything there is a, there are some rules if you don't have any rule it will be zigzag everything so rules has to be followed but even while following the rules we can enjoy life there is a formula there is a plan and he sends that plan to everyone just now those uh, having big corporate people through their software they manage the whole co- company similarly his global brain the super uh, divine computer manages the whole universe and every creation of the world is being managed by him and for the human being is more and more so compassionate that is he wishes let him become my like me let him merge with me and become infinite father actually we have got infinite capacity we can be infinite and we are, actually we have a desire to be infinite also i just give you some logical a logical proof we have got five universal desires first is we want to be immortal everybody has got this five desires whether is a literate person whether is a literate one a poor a pauper or a rich person a intellectual any type of person in the world he has got these five common desires first is everybody wants to be immortal we don't want to die second is we want to be all the time happy sorrow comes grief comes but we don't want that third is we want to be independent that nobody should control me i should do, i could do what i wish we want to be master of our own life fourth is we want to know about everything of the universe this desire is with everybody we want to be omniscient the word is omniscient for that to have complete knowledge of the everything of the world to of the total universe we have a desire of course it's not possible that's a different thing but we have this desire and sec- the final desire is we want to be at the helm of affairs that everybody is everything should be as per my desire and command i should be at the top of everything we want to all the time rise up even if possible we want to be greater than god also of course there is nothing greater than infinity once we understand infinity then we can say we want to be infinite but the one who doesn't have a comprehension of infinity that god is inf- infinite you will say i want to be bigger than god also that's just a joke so to say 
but with these five desires we have and these five desires are only in the infinite god so we want to attain infinity god is immortal god is omniscient god is all powerful god is independent not in control of anybody and god is all the time blissful so these five desires prove that we want to merge in god we want to be like god so actually this is our real form and it it is possible god is ready to help us to attain infinity he is sending the signals also but the signals are coming through the right part so let's take our mind from the left to the right and that is possible through how through the metaphysical meditation i am using the word metaphysical meditation because nowadays meditation has become a business hundreds of types of meditation are there and everybody says the meditation that i am teaching is the best one but if you analyze them properly almost all those meditations are physical meditations somewhere in those meditations either the senses are used or the brain the logical brain is used so in any meditation if we are to use the left the logical brain or the senses that meditation is classified as physical meditation but friends there is a metaphysical meditation in which there is the logical brain is not used the senses are not used the mind is connected to the metaphysical entity the consciousness within us it directly connects to that and that meditation is metaphysical meditation and at that time the energy of the mind activates the right part of the brain the neurons of the right part of the brain and the more we do that meditation the more the neurons of the right part will be charged suppose we have got two mobiles and all the time we are putting the charger to one mobile only what will happen the battery of the other mobile will go down the charge will be finished and that's what happened when we came out at the time the right mobile was charged up fully because in the, the mother's womb we did the metaphysical meditation but when we came out this charger the mind is the charger we connected it to the left part of the brain most of the time and slowly what happened as we grow old the left brain uh, the left mobile is charged fully and because we have never connected the charger to the right part the battery of the right part goes down and this has happened with us it's a reality the fact of life so what we have to do we have to take the mind from the left to the right left means something left up <laughs> extra right means something correct something beautiful so friends that cosmic power is always trying to help us and when we listen to spiritual discourses slowly we will be able to understand the functioning of these three things not in a day some people say oh there should not be repetition we should have a new satsang every day friends that is not satsang whatever will come on which day let die plan prevail and that's more beautiful that's more enjoying than a planned program because the planning will be done by the logical brain the left brain and then that will not be the cosmic plan so actually the spiritual discourse is that one in which we have made no plan and let his will prevail and let what is required for today let that come up that will solve our problems that will clear our doubts and that will answer to our questions that happens so that the spiritual discourse is for the listener also and the for the speaker also so i think the time is up 
So uh, let's keep on enjoying this spiritual discourse till he wishes and uh, not be selfish. Propagate also. Let others tell others also. Friends, experience that uh, let's attend the program and enjoy this spiritual discourse. And as I said before, understand these three things fully. The function of the brain, the driver, the function of the steering, the mind, and the witness, the passenger sitting in the vehicle. Vehicle is our human body. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you everybody. We meet tomorrow at the same time. Thank you.